Welcome to the rocket profile of the Shavit, the launcher that made Israel the eighth country to be able to launch satellites. The variant you see here is the heavier LK-2, also known as the Shavit-3, while the LK-1, also known as the Shavit-2, has identical first and second stages and therefore a continuous diameter. The first stage of the Shavit-3 is a Castor 120 solid fuel booster which provides 1650 kilonewtons in vacuum for 82 seconds with a specific impulse of 280 seconds. The use of the caster in place of the LK-1 engine, which we will see in the second stage, more than doubles the payload capacity of the rocket from 350 kilograms to 800 kilograms. The second stage solid fuel booster is sometimes titled ATSM-13. It is also the first stage of the Shavit LK-1. It provides 774 kilonewtons in vacuum for 55 seconds with a vacuum ISP of 268 seconds. The trajectory being followed in the video is as flat as possible while avoiding excessive aerodynamic forces and overheating. Despite this, with the Castor 120 first stage, the rocket will have a fairly high apoapsis. This is not a problem for the Shavit as it typically aims for apoapses higher than 500 kilometers. The Shavit 2 using the less powerful LK-1 first stage does not have to face the same aerodynamic stress. The third stage of the rocket is another solid stage, the AUS-51, producing 58.8 kilonewtons for 1 minute and 34 seconds at a specific impulse of 298 seconds in vacuum. This stage can be replaced with a Star-48 solid motor. You may notice that the rocket is heading west from Israel, and that is because its only shore is to the west, on the Mediterranean Sea, and the countries to the east would not take kindly to an Israeli rocket being launched over their territory even though it'd be more efficient to launch to the east. So the Shavit actually goes retrograde. It can then make a dogleg turn north to place the satellite into polar orbit. In this video, it will continue westward into a full retrograde orbit, providing a tour of the Mediterranean. The final stage, the LK-4 or PEPT-420, is a tiny hypergolic 0.402 kilonewton, that's 402 newton, engine burning UDMH and N204 for 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Its specific impulse is around 200 seconds. This stage and its avionics ensure that the payload is placed into the desired orbit. The Shavit-1, which used a shorter version of the LK-1 stage for both the first and second stage, flew four times with two successes and two failures. The Shavit-2, also known as the LK-1, had the full LK-1 on the first two stages and has flown four times and all were successful. The Chevy 3, also known as the LK-2, which you saw here, has not yet been launched. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Chevy launcher.